add-ons have become a big part of Blender, transforming it from a simple tool to a complex system that rivals industry leaders like Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini and others. In this video, we're going to look at new add-ons that push this boundary even further. From amazing liquid generators and shaders to complex city and building generators and more. But before we get started, take advantage of the spring sale that is going on on Blender to get any of the add-ons you want on a discount. Starting with Liquifill. This add-on lets you fill any object with liquids using clever shading techniques and generators. This works very great with glasses. It also comes with a library of glasses and different material shaders that can let you simulate foam, bubbles and different looking liquids. So instead of using the painful process of simulating liquids using Manta Flow, this just lets you animate your liquids using a simple slider. Slide it one way and the glass is empty, slide it the other way and the glass is full, enabling you to create complex animations with bubbles, foam and other liquid details. And if you're using a glass shader, the add-on also comes with bump detail that you can add onto your glass to make them look even better. Next, let's look at ICT. Simply put, ICT is Blender's answer to city generation. And I'm talking about detailed city generation, where you can fly your camera from far away to street level. You can see all the details from the roof decals, building SCs, building balcons, street shops, street lights, detailed pavements, walkways, parks, everything in this city is well planned. And to use it is very simple. You just create a mesh and the faces in that mesh become your city blocks with buildings, parks inserted in those faces and the edges surrounding those faces become the roads. If you want a new road, you just extrude a vertex to create a network of roads. And if you want a city block, you just fill the boundaries of an edge, turn it into a face and that will become a city block. And if at any point you want a street that goes through that city block, just make a cut or add an edge loop and that will become your new street. You can change every detail you want from the height of the buildings, the type of street lamps you have, whether the street has garbage or leaves on it on the road and other small details like that. Speaking of small detail, take a look at this add-on. It's called Smartware and I must say it must be the most impressive add-on I've ever seen. Every effect you can think of that turns your model into a worn down object or dirty object, this add-on has it. You can add fire, you can add dust, you can add edge wear, you can add rust, you can even add water dripping off of the object. This is quite impressive. And to top it off, it's all packaged in a single add-on. And it's all based on procedure masks, so your objects don't even have to be UV unwrapped. The add-on is capable of extracting the masks it needs from the add-on and use them directly. Basically, this is Substance Painter for Blender. What makes this even more impressive is that it doesn't just add dust textures on top of your mesh. The add-on also adds dust in form of geometry that renders better than texture-based dust. Because it's geometry, this dust will get picked up by camera depth of field and parallax movement within your render. This dust will also show up in lighting and also create interesting shadows on your meshes, giving you the perfect combination of texture-based dust and geometry-based dust to get the most realistic look you can get. Taking a step away from surface detailing add-on, let's pull our cameras back and talk about landscaping or terrain generation. Terranode is a new add-on that lets you create procedure-generated terrains using a set of modifiers. These modifiers can let you add cliffs, rivers, roads, erosion, trees, rocks, and different shaders for different heights and slopes to give you the best looking terrain. What makes Terranaut a very powerful add-on is the control it gives you over your terrain generation. When you're making landscapes like this, you want to add detail where it matters. So having control over where detail goes will save you a lot of computation power and lets you direct how your terrain or scene looks and feels. Terranode also comes with a few presets you can just throw in your scene to get started. You can expand these terrains and make them larger by just simply adding more tiles on top of what you have done. Terranode will expand the generation procedurally to make it continuous as large as you want. You can transform your terrains, add mountains, rivers, lakes, roads and more by simply just using the provided modifiers. The add-on comes with 18 modifiers, 7 presets for scattering, 12 low poly assets, 9 materials, 
six shaders and four examples to get you to get you started with your world creations. This add-on solves two problems, rigging and ragdoll physics. Rigging can be quite difficult and time consuming and ragdoll physics has been practically impossible in Blender. There has not been a way to connect bonds to Blender's rigid body physics to make ragdoll physics possible. But this add-on solves both problems. With rigging, it provides an auto-rig feature that lets you generate rigs from your mesh. And after that, the add-on also prepares your rig for physics, turning it into a ragdoll object that works with Blender's rigid body system using its ragdoll wizard. So you can generate any type of ragdoll rig using any mesh you have, from dragons, horses, spiders, and anything you can think of. It's going to be much, much easier to crush people with cars in Blender. This has always been a feature all VFX artists in Blender dream of. One key detail that rarely misses in renders are ropes, cables, and wires. And DJH has a solution for you. This is a set of geometry node setups that lets you create ropes, wires, cables in any form. You can make them tie knots, or you can have them be tied around poles, trees, and anything you want. What makes this add-on exceptional is that you, you can layer more wires or cables on top of others. You can add a layer of dangling cables or wires or ropes or just adding ones that are sagging on top of other. It doesn't end there. This add-on comes with shaders to make your ropes and wires look even more detailed with features like extra strands for extra detail to capture better lighting. All these add-ons are going to be listed in the description and if you are able to get them within this week, you're going to get them at a discount because the spring sale is going on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.